Hi, I'm Teresa with Potomac Beads. Today we will work together on my Baroque beaded tassel cap with crystals and round wheel minis. If you need any of the materials, check out the description underneath the video, gather the beads and let's start working. So for this kind of tassel, you will need round wheel mini beads, 3mm bicones, I use two colors, you can use only one of course. You will need uh, 15 0 seed beads and 11 0 seed beads. This top is another tutorial, uh, it's crystallized earrings, so you can check it out on our YouTube. And today we'll be working on just the tassel part. I'm using a 4 cm centim uh, long silk tassel, you can use longer one of course. And uh, you can even use a bigger one but then it means you might have to adjust the number of the round wheel mini segments around so that the tassel fits. So let's start. It's a combination of few stitches, so we will start with right angle V first. Then there's a little bit of peyote and some netting. So we will start with four round wheel minis and four 15 nose between them. So put them on your thread. I'm using milky beading thread. I prefer to use something fabric like with these tassels so I, I don't harm them with wildfire or fire line. So uh, slide it down to the end of your thread. Leave like 10 or 15 centimeters uh, tail so you can have something to hold on to. And then go with your needle also uh, from the other side through all the beads. So it creates a circle. And then go through the first round domini. Then it, it means that it will hold nicely. You have two uh, ends you can pull uh, and make it tight. So this is uh, the first like a cross shaped segment, we will make five in total, which will wrap around the tassel. So it's a round wheel mini, so it has two holes. So don't forget to check the holes every single time. And now I need to step up and add the second segment. So now I have here already first round wheel mini, so I will be adding only three. And uh, between those three, I will put always a 15 0 bead. So four fifteenos and three round minis. I'm checking the holes every time I add round row. So I have this on my needle and I'm going through the other side of this round row mini to the same hole. And this is my another segment. Now I need to go to this round wheel mini where I will connect the third one and I need to also step up there because we are connecting the second holes every single time. So go through the beads. Go here. Don't, pr don't forget to pull so there are, there's no thread showing and now step up. Okay, so we need five segments like this, so I will be adding third, fourth and the fifth, but the fifth will use this bead also, so don't forget uh, when you're adding the fifth one that you will be picking 150, one round row mini and 150, then this guy, then 150 round row mini and 150. So add five more, creating a, li a little ring that will go around the tassel. So I'm closing the ring. So as I was saying, I'm adding the round row mini and the two 15 o's and using this first round row mini here. And I'm adding more 15 o's, one more round row mini, one more 15 o, and going up here. And closing the ring. So now I will go to this round row mini which is on the side of the ring. There I will step up to the second hole. And we will start closing the cap. 
So now we are switching to peyote switch actually, uh, not switch but um, stitch and we'll be picking 3 mm by cones and going through the top of the round dual minis. So pick always one by cone and go through the second hole. I'm working here with the red ones. So it's five in total because we have five starting segments. And when you're finishing, step up through this first bicone. And now it's a little bit of netting. So pick three fifteen o's and go through the next bicone. And add four more times these three uh, 15 o's and then finish uh, with stepping up through the bicone and these two 15 o's so your uh, needle will be coming out of this one in the middle. And as you're exiting from this middle bead you are ready for another row which is another row of netting so pick 15 o, 11 o and a 15 o bead and go through the middle 15 o of this next group and like this go around always picking two 15 o's and one 11 o between them going through this middle one and then step up in the way so uh, you will step up through this 15 o and also the 11 o in the middle and uh, this is where your thread will be exiting and you'll be ready for another row. And to finish up the top you'll be uh, again working with peyote so as you're exiting from the 11 o pick one more 11 o and go through the next one. So you'll be adding five 11 o's here at the top which will close the cap for you. So like this go around And then after you added the fifth one, step up through, uh, to the first one and go just through these five 11 o's without adding any beads so that you connect them together and you um, like make a perfect circle from these. Like this. Later we will go back to the top and add a loop, but now um, we need to go down to the segment here and we will be adding the bicones here. So follow the path of the beads so that the uh, thread is hidden inside and go through the 11 o, the 15 o's from the netting, the bicone the top hole of the round row mini. In the meantime I also knotted the other uh, the tail of the thread and got rid of it and then step down to the lower hole and you need to get here I have a, a knot here so it's a bit more difficult but you want to start from the hole closer to the center of the segment so now I will go left because I have thread in my left um, left hole so now pick one 15 -0, one bicone you can go with the red again or you can go with a different color and then a bicone again so I have three beads and then go across to this second round row mini. So now you have these beads going like slightly under uh, in an angle, which we fix later. And now you want to go to the second hole and do the same, picking 
fifteno, a bicone fifteno, and again go across, so from top to bottom this time, and like this, go around the whole ring, adding the bicones. And now when I have a bicone in every segment, we need to go also from the other side so that the bicone is no more uh, under an angle but it lies horizontally so go to the inner hole of the segment pick a 15 o and go through the bicone pick another 15 o and go through the round domini through the other side then where you already have the 15 o so where 15 o's are missing we are just adding them there which means it will also correct the position of the bicone so now it lies horizontally again switch to the other hole pick 15 o go through bicone pick 15 o and go to the round row mini and like this around the whole cap and after the last bicone you need to get to this bottom hole of any of those round row minis so i ended up like this going through this round row mini so i am going through the 15 o between them and the round row mini here the bottom and stepping <laughs> actually down through the second hole. Now we'll be adding those fringes which will hang down from the tassel. So pick two 15 o's, one bicone and then 20 15 o's. So you can go more, you can go less that's up to you. I went 20 so it's uh, the fringes are shorter than the tassel itself uh, I just did it <laughs> because I like it that way but you can go longer you can go shorter that's your call 15 I just saw that 20 is a nice number and it even looks nice so I went for it so I have 20 here now I added one 11 o. Now it's just a visual thing, so you can definitely add other stuff there. Uh, one 15 o. Oh, sorry, one bicone and then one 15 o. So I have two 15 o's, a bicone, 20 15 o's, 11 o, bicone, and 15 o. And now skip the 15 o. And go back through the bicone 11 -0 and the 20 15 -0s. Now happened exactly the thing I didn't want to. So I went through my thread, which can happen, but saved, yes. And if you have a gap like me, just grab the 15 o at the end and slide the fringe. And then also go through the bicone. And now you will add two more 15 o's and going through the other round row mini. So add four more fringes like this between the two round row minis and then the design of the cap itself is done and we just need to put it on the tassel. So now I have five fringes and we need to uh, add the tassel into the cap and make it uh, stay there. So I'm coming out of the bottom hole of the round row mini and I want to get to this one. We will then go through the tassel inside, uh, securing it on the other side in this uh, bico, and then back and finally doing the loop. So get to the round row mini here, doesn't matter really which hole. Uh, 
this time I would suggest taking out the tassel completely so you can really stuff it in so firmly but take care so that's like nothing is bad or happening to the tassel and what you want to do is actually now I realized it's going from the round dual mini this one in that way that uh, your thread is coming from the bottom because the top here won't be like super secure but we need to go to the bottom where is the larger portion of the tassel so really stuff it in hold it between your fingers and as you're coming out of the bottom hole of the round dual mini go through the tassel and what you want to do is to aim with your needle so that you're coming out next to the Swarovski bicone right next to it you can see my needle I'm coming out between the 15 nose in there hold the tassel and carefully go with your thread through the tassel pull go through the bicone And now aim back also again through the tassel. And what I'm now trying to do is coming out preferably on the other side of the round dual mini, right underneath the hole there. And I'm pulling carefully tight. To make it like super tight so that your cap when you look it from the top is still round and it's not like flattened on these two sides so watch out for that but now go back up to the round dual mini and that's it that should be enough to hold the tassel in I don't presume that you will grab it and pull but still I think it will stay there pretty much it can like there's some flexibility but I am not worried that it will ever uh, fall out and now the last thing to do is to go to the top here and make a loop so go through the beads again like we did when we were going down so you might switch some sides stay in the lines and you want to reach one of those 11 o's here in the inner circle so I'm coming out of this one it doesn't matter which one and now you want to pick 6 15 o's now we have the issue that we have an odd number of beads so I can't really grab uh, anything on the other side which would be in the same um, distance this one is a bit more further so when you will be looking from the side the loop won't be in the middle anymore so I need to go so my uh, thread is coming out from the left side of this 11 o so I'm heading into this left 11 0 on the other side that means then the loop will be in the same distance and I'm also going through the next 11 0 in this circle and the one I started from and I will be exiting it on the other side then I started and then I will go up through the loop which will hold the loop right in the center of this 11 ohm and I'm going fully through this 6 uh, 15 ohms and then I went left to the left 11 ohm but now I am going right and now the loop sits in between these two, five, uh, two uh, 11 ohms out of the 5 can shape the loop a bit and that's it so I'm finishing the circle so that everything is 
same on the other side i'm going down through the beads and there i will find some spot where i will make a loop underneath a thread between two beads like this sorry for the noise from outside and i'm tying a knot and going away from it through some beads and I can cut my thread and the tassel cap is finished and done. Now you can use the loop and uh, put your uh, earring component and wear it as it is. You can put there some other beaded thing and wear it together. It can be the bottom of your pendant, the bottom of your earring or you can use it on a brooch. So this is our uh, beaded tassel cap, this time with uh, bicones and round drill minis. So thank you very much for watching uh, my tutorial for this beaded tassel cap. As you can see, I mixed them up with my crystallized earrings, so you can check out that tutorial as well. And uh, if you beat them, you can post the picture of these earrings into our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. And I will be looking forward to seeing you during some other Potomac Beads tutorial.